Hello and welcome to Caravan Escapades. Well, we've arrived. It is day two of the NEC show and it's day one for us. Now, this is a first. Um, we've just arrived for parking and they're actually parking us inside the halls. Never, ever had that before. So not sure the reason why. Maybe they're having the normal car parks reserviced or something. Um, but we're, we're being parked in the main halls. Anyway, I'm going to go in. Bit of a surprise to be parked in here and we'll catch up with you in a bit. So I'm in, I'm in the show, um, it is, what's the time now, it's actually quarter to 11 and I've only just arrived in the show, um, yeah I had to catch up on some work emails and things like that, so there's a few things going on at work so I needed to focus on that for a bit, but now I'm in, as you can see, doesn't seem too busy, well, it seems quite busy, it doesn't seem too busy, I, uh, the show's in a U shape, um, I'll put a map of the show up here. And as you can see, it's in the atrium part of the NEC. So I'm going to start at Hall 17, which is down one end, and then wander my way around. I'm here on the Camping and Caravaning Club With side. The and the demonstrations are going treats. on. And like our said, old you know, favourite, Andrew no Dickens, is here doing his cooking well. demonstrations on the Kadak. So we yeah. saw Andrew, or we see Andrew all the but, time, but yeah, Andrew is a torchlight as well. well. So if you are here, it is definitely worthwhile coming by and watching some of his cooking demonstrations and learning a few tips and tricks on how you can cook when you're out in the caravan. A great staple of every NEC show is the Inspiration Theatre. Uh, lots of different things going on. Some great talks, um, some great Q&As, that sort of stuff. So if you are down for one of the days, definitely worthwhile checking out the programme, seeing what's on and seeing if something interests you. One thing I want to remind you guys about is the great shop and drop that they always have at the NEC. We're in the corner of Hall 12. Look out for the big, there's up there, there's a big overhead sign, you can't see it properly, that says shop and drop. So if you are out there buying, particularly from all the accessory stores, rather than wandering around, carrying everything with you, come over to the guys at shop and drop, they'll be more than happy to help you. And it's free of charge, you don't have to pay anything. You drop in your kit, they give you a ticket, you can come in as many times as you want. So that's the shop and drop in the corner of Hall 12. Although there are accessory stalls, plotted around and dotted around the different show halls. It does seem like Hall 12 is the place to be, particularly for all your accessories, clothing, all those camping bits and bobs that we all like to buy. So it's Hall 12, mainly for your accessories. So I've just come by the Dometic stand uh, and there's a whole new range of awnings uh, for this season. It's a newer, lighter material. Um, you can see it here. I actually like it, it looks quite nice. Um, it is kind of the pro material, but it's supposed to, let me read here, so it's fade resistant, um, so it's a lot better than the pro material for fading. Um, it's got ripstop construction in there, so there's less chance of it getting ripped, those sorts of stuff, but let me know what you think. Put down in the comments what you think to the new style. So we've got one over there, there's some more here, look, even a little canopies for over your doors. But yeah, I quite like it trouble is I've spent so much on my awning so far Claire would kill me if I decided to buy a new one. So I've now taken a stroll from one side of the horseshoe to the next um, taken in a few things but only kind of just done it to get my bearings and the layouts and I'll have a more of a browse as we go out through the day. One thing I notice I think us caravanners are a dying breed um, there certainly is far more motorhomes far more camper vans here than, than caravans there only seems to be a bit of a center section with caravans that sort of stuff now let me know what your thoughts are on that I think is it is it a lifestyle thing um, is it because those people that tend to buy caravans are still families is caravan a very family orientated pastime uh, and I guess if it's families you know most people that would buy the cam caravans and that sort of thing are still at work they're still earning potentially have to finance that purchase whereas maybe particularly the motorhomes people that buy motorhomes and some of the camper vans are retired people um, you know so they've already worked they're probably not having to take out finance um, they're using their pension to buy the motorhome so let me know what you think but there definitely is far more motorhomes and caravans here at the show this year so I'm just on the Swift stand and I have to say the Swift stand this year is very impressive. It's huge, uh, massive, very, very big. Uh, you can't even really get a proper feel for it. Um, all the way over there, 
all the way down there, both left and right. Everything from Swift Caravans, Swift Motorhomes and Swift Caravans, they're all here. And they've got their sort of main seating area over here. And they've got cooking demonstrations going on over the back there. I don't know whether you can see that. That's Lindsay Radford uh, helping out with the cooking demonstrations. But if you're interested in a Swift, you'll certainly find one here. So on the Swift stand still, uh, and what have I come across? The Swift Challenger Grande Exclusive 670. This is the van that we ordered here at the show this time last year. Um, and got it. I think we got it in about March, April time this year. I'll have to look back at the vlogs and find out. Let's go and have a look inside, see if there's anything changed. So let's take a wander inside and have a look if there are any changes. There's one change that I can see Claire would like. This kind of improved kitchen space, kitchen worktop. They've got this area that kind of comes out here. Certainly this cupboard space is very different. Um, we've got the one big cupboard, different drawers. Um, so there's that there. Oh, and what's this up here? Okay, so they fitted an extraction hob, which we haven't got in ours. Um, whether it just whether it vents outside or whether it goes into uh, a filter I'm not sure but certainly at the front is all exactly the same although I think these panels yeah these panels at the bottom the lower down ones are of a darker material um, everything else looks the same same thing still no curtains certainly on anything but the front window but as you know we've replaced ours or not replaced or we've added curtains fridge that sort of layout still exactly the same shower ah that's interesting so they do have a piece of carpet for there now whether that was missing from ours I don't know but we certainly didn't get a carpet in the middle there so that's something worth just checking with MG see if that's something that was missed or whether that's something we have to order extra shower doors different um, it's a darker effect shower door not sure whether I like that or not see what Claire's opinion is same mattress same bed same wardrobe although we didn't get any of these duvalet pillows we got the duvalet mattress but we certainly didn't get any of the duvalet pillows but yeah apart from that it looks exactly the same but I know Claire would be quite pleased with that improvement on the kitchen um, although you know it's a bit of a change from the kitchen from the cupboard space that sort of thing so yeah so we'll have a quick look around the outside to see if there are any significant changes honestly I can't see that there is um, be interesting uh, there we go so up there there is a vent for that extractor um, that extraction hob in the kitchen but apart from that it all looks exactly the same Oh, so they've gone for a black A-frame cover. Not sure I like that. Not sure I like the black A-frame cover. And it looks like there's a decal down here as well, which we haven't got on ours. But apart from that, it all looks very, very similar. So I've just spoken to MG, the girls are here anyway on the Swift stand, uh, and just mentioned that bit of carpet in the centre. Apparently our model that was ordered last year didn't come with that one, but if I speak to them nicely, they're going to sort me one out you can always rely on mg like i always say if you want a great dealer that really really looks after you you cannot be mg caravans one thing to remember if you are a member of the camping and caravanning club bring your membership card along with you and they have a members only area which is just inside here you get in over there and you can get free teas and coffees so if you want to find somewhere just to take the weight off your feet and get a free tea and coffee and I think they do juice for the children as well but you do need your membership card or at least your membership card on your phone so that's the camping the caravanning club members only area another talk going on at the Inspiration Theatre I wonder if there'll ever be a day where they'll invite me caravan escapades to get up there and do a talk I doubt it very much so I've just had a chat with the guys here at Audi um, and I don't know whether I've mentioned to you guys before I have this niggly problem with the Audi control and the Swift command 
controlling the heat and it's just like the Audi doesn't seem to work properly and apparently it's a Sergeant Swift problem uh, and what the guys here have suggested to me to be fair is just disconnect that link and just control the heating directly from the Audi panel so I'll probably have a word with MG uh, next time I'm down there and get them to do that um, but also they did say the Audi heating works really really well with the Truma air conditioning which we've got and if we plug those two together it works really well so I'm going to get MG to try and get that all set up for me. So I'm just on the Truma stand and if you guys remember from our trip back in France the accident I had where I basically bashed the motor mover on the curb in the air so I've just been having a chat with these guys and as you know this is the bit that I bent um, and actually it's a relatively easy part to replace I can order the replacement from the website it's that bit there we basically just need to disconnect this move it away undo that slide it out put the new one back in put it all on sounds straightforward enough I'm sure it will be but again the guys here have said any problems just give us a call and we'll talk you through it so another great service from Truma so I'll get that ordered and I'll probably do a vlog on me replacing it at some point so I'm just walking down and I've come across the Alco stand. What I've just discovered, if you guys didn't know either, the EMP leveling is now part of Alco. They're all joined forces, so they're all together. It's the same company. But you've also got this high, high four. Uh, I call it HY4, but it's high four. So EMP leveling, you've got the two types. You've got the level C, which is for the caravans, and you've got the level M, uh, which is for the motorhomes. It says it on there. So you've got level C and level M. Um, they all have one pump, is that right, one pump? One pu High force four pumps, MP one. So EMP's got one pump and the high force got four pumps. So as the guys explained to me here, it moves it up slightly smoother, obviously a lot easier. Um, but the one big advantage about the high four, and I guess that's the sort of thing you could, could you fit a high four to caravans as well? No, so high four is just purely for motorhomes and stuff like that. But the one big advantage with a high four is you can actually weigh your motorhome with it. So it's got um, weight sensors in there, so it'll give you the weight sense and everything else. So that's just a bit of an, up an update for you guys. I didn't realise that Alco and EMP were now joined together anyway. So if you want any information, I'll put a link down below and get in touch with these guys. So as I'm wandering through the show, I've just come across the cart stand as well. And as you guys know, I'm an avid user of cart. We've had it on all of our caravans and swear by it. Really, really like the product. We had that issue previously with the um, wheel. We swapped that for the heavy duty wheel. That's gone away. But the one thing that did caught my eye was this little device I've seen just here. Now, this is a prototype and it is still in the prototype stage. But can you guess what it's for? It's for stopping your jockey wheels dropping. If you've got a rubbish clamp, if you've got problems with a clamp, that sort of thing, this will lock around your jockey wheel shaft and should that fail, it will stop it falling down, stop you dragging the jockey wheel. Now the guys here have got a little bit of refinement to do on the product, but they're hoping by spring next year, that will be available on the market. I guess you've not got any idea of pricing yet? About a tenner, just under a About tenner. About a tenner, well, I mean, to be fair, looking at the way this is put together and looking at the construction, a tenner is an absolute bargain price. Um, you know, as you guys know, I've got my own business, I'm in engineering, so a tenner for a product like that is absolutely perfect. I know I'll be buying one when it comes out, although I haven't had any problems with the jockey wheel. It's just that peace of mind, isn't it? And this thing will just come apart, slide off over your wheel and then back again, and you just pull your jockey wheel up, lock it in place and that's it and I can loosen this off here and that wheel is not going to drop anywhere it's not going anywhere so it's nice to see these guys are continuing to innovate and develop keep an eye out I'll put a link to their website down below and hopefully by spring next year you'll be able to buy this and I've just been told it's already got its brand name it is called the anti-slip clip so look out for the anti-slip kit coming to an online store near you in spring next year. The guys from Peggy Peg are here, they're here, they're always here, come by and chat to them. Those guys are busy, I'll catch up with them later on through the show. So it's now four o'clock in the afternoon on our first day here. Um, and I've just got back to, I think it's Hall 12, and I'm gonna be heading off soon because I'm gonna be back tomorrow anyway. But I've just made one interesting discovery. I just thought to myself, there's no collapse. Collapse aren't here. Um, not sure why. I've looked at the um, show guide. They're not in the show guide. They don't seem to be about. So 
Hmm, wonder what's going on there. Maybe I've missed them, maybe they are here, but if they're not listed in the show guide. So if you guys know anything why Collapse aren't here, <coughs> interesting. So I think I'm gonna call it a day today. So that's me finished. There's the exit for the hall. We're here in all 12. I'm gonna head home. Um, I hope you've enjoyed all of that. I will try and get this edited tonight and get this out tonight. But if not, it might be tomorrow or the day after anyway. I'm back tomorrow. Uh, I'm back with one of my good neighbors and friends, Andy. He's coming with me. So I'm not sure whether I'll do much filming tomorrow at all. Um, but failing that, we'll be back on Saturday anyway. Just a reminder as well, I think there's going to be quite a few vloggers here on Saturday if you are about Saturday. I know Graham's coming, but he's coming as a punter. The Hayhoes will be here. Um, Colin from Colin's Caravan Capers is going to be here and one or two others as well. So if you are about, probably a few of us will get together at some point. We won't arrange a meet, but if you, if you do see us, do say hi. I'd just like to say a big thank you as well to all those subscribers that have seen me today have stopped by and had a chat. It's always great to meet you guys. So thanks to everybody that stopped and said hi. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you on the next one.